You're listening to the Ask Drone You podcast. You ask, we answer your drone questions. Whether you're here to turn your passion into profit or you simply fly for fun, we're a community of learners and teachers who aspire to achieve greatness. We are Drone You. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul, and you're listening to another animated episode of Ask Drone You. <laughs> My name is Paul. Yes, the animation has not just begun. It's been going on for a little while prior to hitting record, but it's fun. We're having a good time. Things are things are happening, getting ordered, processed. Anyways, thank you for being with us. This is episode 764. I'm Rob. We're glad that you're hanging with us. As always, we appreciate it very, very much. Yes, thank you for the reviews. Really do appreciate it as well. It means a lot to us. As those reviews help other people find out this information as well. So anyway, thank you guys. We really do appreciate it. Um, but we have an interesting question for today, which is brought to you by our friends at coloradodronechargers.com. Make sure to check them out if you're like me and you need to charge multiple batteries at one time. Not like the DJI chargers that just charge batteries in a series. This actually charges batteries at once. It's very cool. So check them out, coloradodronechargers.com. But let's hear that funky question. Hi, guys. This is Robert Parson in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And I was wondering if you had heard when the link system was going to be rolled out nationwide. Uh, I have some airspace authorizations that are kind of caught in the FAA limbo, and uh, they've been in the queue for quite some time. So I was wondering if you had heard anything uh, to update that. I appreciate all the work you guys are doing. You have a good day. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate the question. Don't forget, guys, you can go to askdroneu.com like Robert did and get your question in. We'd love to hear from any of you and all of you. And uh, don't forget as well that if you do get a question on the air, you're entered into a drawing to win a free annual membership to the Drone U, which it's is pretty free. cool. It was pretty cool. It is cool. We love giving those out every 50 episodes. Yes, we sure do. We so anyways, sure do. The Lance system. The Lance. Lank. Lance. Lank. They call it Lance. Lance? It's actually... Lank. In my opinion, it is Lance. the very worst. <laughs> it is the very worst name for such a system, as it stands for Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability. Yeah, I think they could have done better than that. I think so, too. But that's okay. What is the Lance for those of you who haven't been uh, flying drones for the last however long? Uh, it is the instant authorization system for drone pilots to get into controlled airspace. That it, remember, it is not restricted. It is controlled. So make sure you check that out. But good news, great news. On April 30th, 2018, the FAA will begin to roll out the capability regionally as a part of a nationwide beta test. They've been in beta for quite a long time, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> well, I remember my first beta. <laughs> I think uh, these guys could listen to a good episode of... Um, what is it called? Masters of Scale with Reed Hoffman and learn that uh, they should have rolled this thing out a little faster. Yeah. Striving for perfection, maybe, and it never True. gets done. All right. So anyway, good news. On April 30th, the South Central USA will have a lot more airports. So here's the thing. They're saying that this whole system will be rolled out by September 13, but they're rolling it out in different regions. Um, I've sent you guys the link. Um, if it's in the description below, I sent it to Rob and everyone who's a part of um, of the podcast rollout. And there you can actually see all the benefits that are listed, um, how you can participate, the details and all. Um, if you are in South Central USA, that means April 30th of this year, you're, a lot more airports are going to open up to you. So if you have an airspace authorization um, in particular regions of the United States, and they are kind of in limbo. Good news, you won't be in limbo very longer. Um, but also, in fact, let me pull up, let me see, hopefully Facebook will do me a, do me a naughty and uh, pull up Vic's last post about ATC having ultimate authority. Hold on one second. I, Vic has been talking about this for a while. Um, okay, here it is. Next time ATC tells you they can't help you, refer them to JO order JO 7100.65X22 or 211 section 2E note 1. <laughs> and then give them some time to go look it up. Here, I'm going to I'm going to link this to you here. Hey, guess what? Here's a new link for you, Rob. We're going to have links galore in these episodes. What podcast episode is this? This is 764. Oh, I don't want to send this to myself, Rob. 764. 
Boom. Okay. There it is. Let's see. Um, so they say title D.3 reference, no change. Amend the following paragraph in FAA order JO7110.65211 ATC service. Air traffic control services are not provided for model aircraft operating in the NAS or to any UAS operating in the NAS at or below 400 feet AGL. This does not prohibit ATC from providing services to civil and public UAS. The provisions of this paragraph apply to model aircraft operating at any altitude. For all other UAS, this paragraph applies only to those UAS operating entirely at or below 400 feet AGL. So it looks like this is a change order from a previous JO order to a new JO order, but they're saying the ATC still does have the authorization to give ultimate permission. So hmm. um, if you were to call ATC and say, hey, I've got this airspace authorization and I'm supposed to fly in um, Texas A&M, but it hasn't come back yet. And the Lance is coming out in this particular area, so let's see, South Central USA, I would imagine, in two months, but I need to fly it next week. You call ATC, tell them all those things, where you want to fly, what altitude. I would bet money lots of money that you would be able to fly in that area. But continuing on, um, other regions, you will have up to 500 new airports uh, across the country available in your region. So you're going to have some of those 500 airports. Uh, in Western North USA, May 24th, 2018. Western South USA, June 21st, 2018. Eastern South USA, that's July 19th. And Eastern North USA, August 16th. And Central North USA, September 13th, 2018. Now, how can you actually figure out where you are located and whether or not your airport is going to be included. That's a very good question. You're going to have to check out that link because there's a lot of information in there. Um, it's the faa.gov forward slash UAS forward slash programs underscore partnerships forward slash UAS underscore data underscore exchange forward slash question mark <laughs> CID equals Tango Whiskey 581. <laughs> And we'll go ahead and include that for yeah, you. But you got it. <laughs> but you can't complain that you're not gonna have in, the link now. In case you're not clickable. Yeah. Then you can type it in. Let's see. UAS operating rules, memorandum of agreement. Wow, they're rescinding all these rules. Very interesting. Anyway. Um, I hope that answers his question. Did we answer his question? When yeah, is... no, I think it does. I mean, obviously, Let's see. He's in Arkansas, so that actually might be part of the first rollout, right? Um, Checking. South Central. Yeah. Like I said, if I were be. him, I would totally reach out to an ATC director, tell him, like provide him with the airspace authorization. Um, of course, he said, he, you mean the one that he's trying to get? Is that what you're saying? He said he had one in limbo, so yeah. send him that one and be like, this is where I need to fly for this job, blah, blah, blah. I need to do it now. You, chances are they're probably going to let you. Is it one of those deals, and I don't know exactly how many people are manning these these places, but because if I'm dealing with something and I don't get the answer that I want, I say, okay, and I hang up and I call again. And then I just get somebody different, right? And usually a couple of iterations of that, I can get the answer that I want. True. I don't know if that will work in this case. If there's not enough people, you have the to call like five hours ATC. later. Yeah, at least. But that might be worth it. It, um, I, I think so. But I'll be honest with you. Most, most times, I, I've seen things to work out well. So, you mean with the first call? Yeah. Yeah. So that's not even as. Yeah, that's great. But if you don't get the answer that you're wanting, then just know that a lot, a lot of times, this is just the person that you're talking to. True. For whatever reason, who knows? Maybe they've had a bad morning, or maybe they just are not very nice, or maybe they feel like that's not the right thing to do. Who knows? True. So you can always call back. You can always call back. Um, just make friends with people. I mean, business is all about relationships. You got to tr treat people, treat people right. You know what I mean? So absolutely in life in work and business doesn't matter. It's a good policy to live by. Okay. I think we answered your question, Robert, but of course, if we have not to your liking, follow up, give us another question and we'll uh, do our best to go a little deeper for you. If that's what you're looking for. True. Cool. True. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for us today. My name is Paul. I'm Rob. This is ask drone. You thanks for leaving us a review right now to go, go, go. All right, bye.